Actually, it's called Babylon to Timbuktu, and it's kind of controversial. The reason why I like the book is because it tells our true race. And I just lay like a little foundation for you is that like most people in America, the blacks here, we are called African American. Not, that doesn't state your race because Africa is a continent with 52 countries, and America is another continent divided into North, South, and Central America. And basically, what it says is that we're the Hebrew Israelites here, and we fall under the curses. And it also goes into like some of the language, like like in the Bible, is like um, the New Testament is written in Greek and Latin. So as you see, like the um, like the, the um, N word that everybody calls us sometimes for racial purposes, actually they got it from the Bible because actually it's like you see hear the term Simon called Niger. And so basically that means Black Simon. So basically they would call him um, Black Simon for his, um, for his nickname in the Bible. And also talks about Moses, how he spent 40 years in Egypt as um, Pharaoh's grandson. And kind of nervous here. <laughs> okay. And, um, and basically it goes into Deuteronomy 28 where it talks about all the prophecies, like far as our curses and blessings. And like the people in Africa, like so-called African Americans here, we follow those, those curses to the T. Because he said that you will be sold into slavery by the hands of your enemies. Used to be called a byword and a proverb, proverb because it's mean you're being called by a name that's not yours because we've been called Negro, African American, um, color, and some other names that I can't remember. And it basically tells because we're the only people in this nation that doesn't have a nation. And it's like a lot of people say, well, the ancient Hebrew Israelites are missing, but then you got a group of people here who don't have a nation because it's like anybody that go that still live in America, if you told the Germans to go back home, they go to Germany. If you told um, like the um, French to go back home, they go back to France. But like, where would the African, African American go back? What country would he go back to? And also, he shows like a lot of um, pictures like us going into captivity, and it shows like the ancient paintings on the wall. So it shows like some of the guys with dreadlocks and woolly hair. It goes like a lot of like a lot of proof about that. And that's basically it.